Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading with my new deck, the Wild Unknown Tarot. So you guys heard that right. Rainbow Harmony has a new deck. <laughs> Those of you guys who have been watching my channel for a while know that I just don't go out buying a bunch of decks. I'm very old school. Each one of my decks I have, I only have um, like four major decks I work with, you know, my Romance Angels deck, my Wildwood deck, my Enchanted Tarot, and my Universal Angel cards. You guys know these decks really well. Um, each one of them found me in a really synchronistic way and most of them were gifted to me. And so I'm very old school about it. And I don't just go out buying random decks all the time. I really feel like every time you bring a deck into your life it's like a lot of shift and it's like a whole new energy and for me I really like to get decks or when they come to me when they're gifted to me or like during a huge shift in my life so I have been praying and manifesting a new deck for a while and one of my lovely subscribers was quite persistent about sending me this deck they thought it would be perfect for me it would look great on my channel and they were so right I mean just aesthetically look at this you guys I love it I love the black and white the illustrations of course there's rainbows on every card it's so cool and um, I'm in this random country in the middle of the world right now the mail here is really difficult but this person like helped get this deck all the way over here and I just want to say thank you to you you know who you are very excited. I'm going to post a, an unboxing later and like show you guys it and talk about it more. But for now, I could not resist doing a pick a card reading for you guys with this deck. So I hope you're excited. What we're going to do is just you're going to pick a card, whichever one you feel the most drawn to. So look at the illustration on the card. If you know the tarot, you maybe you kind of know what these cards mean, but just, you know, try to use your intuition and whatever card you feel the most drawn to go ahead and choose and um, I'm gonna let you guys see the cards real close for a second number one so beautiful we got number two number three number four number five and number six if you choose number one we're going to get started and check the comments below where my lovely subscribers always post the timestamps for all the other cards thank you again to the person who sent this to me i am so excited you guys so excited okay so we're going to get started with number one which is the sun so, of course, I know what this card means in the traditional tarot, but I love what the book has to say about it. This card in the book, it says basically to imagine for a moment that you're soaking up the warm rays of the sun. Feel its nourishing healing. Feel all of your aches and your pains just fade away. And you know what's crazy? I feel that way when I look at the sun. I always feel just like my shoulders relax and my jaw relaxes and... My energy just feels better and the warmth is so comforting. Just like soak that in for a second is what this card is saying. So this card is symbolizing amazing energy and vitality in your life, like health, good health, good fortune. It's also helping you to realize that you will be feeling more assurance and more clarity in everything that you're doing. This is telling you, spend some extra time outside today. Be grateful for the radiance of the sun and the life force that it gives to all creatures. Traditionally, the sun card is also talking about just joy, happiness, feeling in alignment, spiritual awakening, your heart being open, like a, a lucky streak in your life, like you're at a good place in your cycle right now in life. You don't have to worry or be afraid of anything. Everything's going great. Everything's going according to plan, like you're in alignment. It's. I also kind of see the sun sometimes as like a pat on the back. I see this card sometimes after I've been through a rough time, but like it's a reassurance that I've turned the corner, like I've, you know, gotten to the top 
um, of the mountain per se. It's a really good card that's just saying like, you're in the right place at the right time, you're being guided, just relax, rest, enjoy. It could also be a message like time to take a vacation, time to take a break, like you can afford to do so. You know, a blessing of health and abundance in your life. Just a, a card of blessings, so beautiful card. I hope that that resonates with you and thank you for coming to my channel. I'll see you later. So next we have the Three of Wands, okay? So this card is all about envisioning your future. So this card is saying that you've had continued support from people, maybe from your parents or like from friends or something, um, maybe people you've worked with. And it's saying with, your, with these people's help, you formed a really good sense of who you are, of your values and of your morals, but now it's time for you to rely on yourself for guidance. So this is kind of saying like, it's time to step away from your support circle and like support yourself and try something new. It could be like you've been working in a partnership or you've been at some job where you've been supported, like your boss has hired you and you work with some people. Um, maybe you travel with these people or you work with them or you live where you work or something like that. Um, and it's become a good community for you, but maybe it's time for you to dream bigger for your life. Maybe it's time for you to get out there and become your own boss and start your own business or work on your own path. Or maybe this is saying like it's time to move out of your parents' home or time to move out of, you've been living with a roommate or a friend, they've been helping you and maybe it's time to get your own place or something like that. So this is saying, it's time for you to clarify your goals and cast other people's needs and opinions aside. So this could also be saying like, there's been people in your life who've had opinions. Maybe you've gone to them because you're upset, you're worried, you're like, I don't like this choice I made or I don't like this job I'm working in or I don't know what to do about this thing or this relationship or maybe these people have been giving you help and giving you their opinion, but you're at this point where you're just like, I don't know if I want this, their, them all up in my life like this. I don't know if I, if I want to take their advice. I don't know if I, if I kind of want to step away from this and just like make my own choice, try something different, you know? Sometimes the people around you, they really want to comfort you and support you but they can hold you back by holding you in this certain uh, kind of mind frame. Back in the day, you guys know my story, I tell it a lot on the channel, but I was a swim teacher. I was um, a personal trainer. I taught community CPR classes, lifeguarding classes, water aerobics. I was a manager at this aquatic center. And so everybody in my community, most of my friends, people who knew me, coworkers, thought of me as like, promise the swim teacher, you know, promise the, you know, the the girl who works in aquatics and water aerobics and whatever. But I really on the inside was just like, no, I'm promised the artist. I'm promised the creative person. I'm the promise that's gonna take over the world. I'm the promise who's a fashion stylist. I'm, you know, I wanna travel. I wanna have different experiences. I wanna help people on a grander scale. Um, I wanna make my mark on the world. And I think that when I told some people around me that I had these bigger dreams or that I wanted to do fashion styling or I shared with them the blog I used to make or my fashion things I was doing, they just were kind of like, oh, cool. But they still saw me as like this swim teacher and like that's who, that's all they thought I was going to do. When I told people my ideas, they were kind of like, okay, whatever, dream big, honey, you know? And um, Eventually, I just had to like not care what people thought. I had to stop telling people about my plans. I just had to make it happen. And now like my work speaks for itself. Who I am speaks for itself. I don't need to prove anything to anyone. Just gotta walk my path. And eventually I left that lifestyle behind and I moved on to something else. I feel like that's kind of what this card is saying. Like I feel like I'm being given that story to tell you guys from my life because some of you guys might be known as like, you know, you know, Jill that works at the bank or something, or the, I don't know, Mary that is the nanny and babysitter, or like, you know, uh, Mark who, you know, works at the insurance company, but really like you have this dream that you want to try something new, or you want to act, or you want to dance, or you want to start your own business, or you want to make an app or something, or you want to travel or whatever it is. And so this is basically saying, kind of breaking ties, but not like in a negative way, just kind of 
not allowing people to influence you in your life as much, not going to these people with your problems, get a therapist, write in your journal, like stop, like don't allow people to have influence over your life, but don't be codependent with people and like tell them everything and all your stuff and all your problems and all your worries and like all this, like, I don't know, just like all the, all your ideas and just kind of keep it to yourself and start working behind the scenes on building this new life. Make it your little secret, hustle, hustle, hustle. And soon your life will speak for itself and you won't have to explain what you're doing to anyone, you know? And also maybe this is saying like, if you're, someone's giving you money, maybe find a way to break off from that and find a way to make your own finances and get a second job or whatever you got to do. Like financially support yourself. Sometimes when it comes to your parents, like they pay you for stuff or you're living with them. And so they get to have this influence on your life and you feel like, you have to please them because of the money. Like, cut those ties. Don't let anyone have that hold over you. You know, get out of there. Even if you got to struggle a little bit, it's worth it for your freedom and for your peace of mind, okay? So I hope that resonates with you. This is a positive card saying, like, you're ready. To, you can rely on yourself for your guidance. Figure out what your goals are. The future's infinite. It's yours. And you can do whatever you want. You're free. So I hope that that resonates with you. Thank you for coming to my channel and I'll see you later. So the next card, I'm just turning to it here in the book. Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> oh, here we go, the chariot. I really like this card. I love horses, I love unicorns. I love rainbows. <laughs> I love it. So this card is basically symbolizes your confidence, your will, and your inner warrior. This is saying uh, at points in your life, you felt the bliss of achievement and triumph, and like you have felt this chariot type of energy before. And this card is urging you to really build a relationship with this part of yourself. Try to like see the chariot inside of you. It's reminding you that the mo more focused that your mind is, the easier it's going to be for you to sense this inner warrior and your inner confidence and your willpower inside of you. You know, this is saying uh, the more focused your mind, the easier it will be to sense the chariot's presence and to stay mounted on its back. With a fixed gaze and sure footing, you'll be headed toward all you dream of. And this is so weird. This is reminding me of something that um, my partner was telling me earlier today. Um, what did he say? He said, like, basically, if you, if you don't stay on the horse, it's going to drag you. And we were talking about, like, situations where basically, um, you don't make any decisions in your life. You don't decide where you want to go. You don't, like, exercise your willpower. And so you just get dragged by life. And, like, random stuff happens to you. And you feel like a victim. And, maybe things appear like they're falling apart. Like first, when you need to make a choice or it's time to move forward in life, the universe will whisper it to you gently. If you ignore it, the universe will talk a little louder. If you keep ignoring it, the universe will say it firmly to you. If you keep ignoring it, the universe will yell it to you. If you ignore it again, the universe will scream it at you. And that's, that's, I've seen this happen in my life, you know, it, it, maybe let's say in the context of something extreme, like an addiction, like maybe you need to really quit this addiction. So maybe you lose a friend, someone's upset, you've hurt them or something, you know, maybe you have some kind of health problem. That's the universe kind of yelling at you a little louder. Maybe, um, you lose your job. That's the universe getting louder and telling you, hey, you need to make this change. Like this isn't serving your highest good. And then maybe you end up hospitalized. You almost die or something. That's like the universe screaming at you like, hey, you need to change this. Like, you know, it, it'll be gentle at first and then it'll spiral out of control. And so that's a really extreme example. Um, it can happen in almost every, any area, anything in your life. But basically, if you don't get on the horse, if you don't stay on the horse, it's going to drag you. And life will drag you. It will, unless you kind of decide what you want to move forward with, exercise your willpower, make something happen. And so I'm not saying the universe is going to smite you if, like, you don't, uh, you don't try something. But just remember that, like, you're, you are creating your universe through your own thoughts, through your own 
choices, through your own actions, through your own intentions, decisions, etc. And in this universe, every action creates an equal and opposite reaction. So the choices that you make on an everyday basis and in a grander scale are creating what's happening around you. So if you want some good stuff to happen, you need to use your willpower and like intend for that to happen and take steps in alignment with that. You don't gotta be paranoid about it. You don't have to like think positive all the time. It's just like, you gotta do something, you know, kind of make a goal and work towards it. Keep it simple, but you need to realize, take responsibility that you're creating your life. And so this is saying like, remember the times you felt the bliss. Remember the times that you felt like you achieved something in your life. Remember the times that you triumphed, where you really felt like you were on that horse's back, where you felt like you weren't getting dragged. And know that like, this is part of you and you can exercise this part of you whenever you want. You are strong. You've had times in your life where you've triumphed. No matter how crazy your life gets sometimes, you have had those moments where you've been on this horse's back. So this is saying it's time to focus your mind, time to stay mounted. Have a fixed gaze, have sure footing, and you'll be headed towards everything that you dream about. And you've got this. So I feel like if you got this card, it's a message you need to either need to get on this horse's back, or it might just be like a awesome, good for you, you're on this horse's back, like stay on track, like keep focused, you got this kind of message. So wonderful, I love this card, I love this deck. I hope that you guys enjoy this. Thank you for coming to my channel, and I'll see you later. So next we have the card, the Daughter of Pentacles. And I just thought this was so cute. It's like this deer with this rainbow in the back. You guys, how perfect are these cards? And isn't this like so my aesthetic? So thankful for the person who purchased this for me. I really appreciate this. So um, this is saying that right now it's time in your life to kind of be behind the scenes rather than out in the spotlight. It's time to really work hard and be responsible to like really handle the details and the logistics of your situation um, and realize that a lot of people are depending on you right now and like you it's good that you're uh, handling this responsibility well. Um, this is also reminding you that you thrive when you're in nature. So if you feel like you've been bogged down by work, you've been working behind the scenes so much, you haven't seen a lot of progress. This is saying like, get out into nature and let yourself play. Like put some play back in your day, have fun. Um, even if it's snowing, just go for a walk in the snow for like five minutes or make a snow angel or something or throw a snowball. I know it's cold. Some people are going through the polar vortex right now. If you're lucky enough where the weather's not too bad, you know, get out into the trees spend a little bit of time um, out in nature and um, it's going to recharge you and help you to get through this. I feel like this is just saying like you're in a hustle period in your life right now and um, you might not be really be feeling like you're in the spotlight or you're getting um, any rewards for your work, but it's going to pay off. And this is saying um, continue to be hardworking, continue to be responsible, continue to handle these details. You have the inner strength to make it through this and there will be a beautiful harvest coming your way. So I hope that that resonates with you. Thank you for coming to my channel and I'll see you later. So the next card we have here is the lovers. I feel like a lot of people might have seen the lovers on here and just was like, yes, I'm picking that one. <laughs> but I feel like this is a sweet message. It says, the Canadian geese are mates for life, traveling partners within an expansive sky. The lover's card is a welcome sight in any reading because it suggests a beautiful and strong relationship is on the horizon. Yes, you will experience all the thrills of desire and romance and you're going to be building a solid foundation together. The lovers honor and respect each other and with that they can go anywhere. If you're already in a relationship then it's time to be grateful and nourish this rare and precious gem. So yes, this is basically saying, um, you know, if you're seeking a relationship, if you're wanting this energy in your life, if you were attracted to this card because you saw the lovers on here and you're like hoping for something to work out in your love life, yes, like there actually will be some kind of improvement here. There is a beautiful relationship on the horizon. Like you're going to experience the thrill of romance. You're going to build a solid foundation. Like, and I just love how you see the full rainbow here. It's just like this healing light coming into your love life. Um, a respectful relationship, an honorable relationship that can, you know, you can soar higher with. Somebody who 
is p perhaps a mate for life, you know, like a someone you'll marry or you'll live with for a long time. Um, this is saying that if you, once again, if you are in a relationship, then a beautiful new era is opening where this relationship will be nourished and you guys will, this energy will expand. So beautiful card, I absolutely love it. Thank you for coming to my channel and I'll see you later. Okay, so next we have the Six of Pentacles, okay? For those of you guys who chose number six. And I didn't plan that, I just kind of laid the cards out randomly and it's just weird that the Six of Pentacles ended up in the sixth position. That's a cool synchronicity. So this card, you're gonna love it. It says, you have been waiting so long for your metaphorical fruit to be ready to harvest, to bring you wealth. And this is saying yes, these fruits are harvesting and it's bringing you more wealth than you have ever anticipated. This says, it's make sure that you're generous during this bountiful time. So if it's financial, um, you know, give to yourself, give to some friends or, you know, get someone's bill at dinner or, you know, give to a charity or, um, you know, give back a little bit. Obviously, like, this is your harvest and you, you should use it, but don't forget to kind of give back or do something to help others too. Remember that this generosity and the gratitude, that helps grow your abundance as well, okay? Um, and this is saying that this generosity could come from someone else. So for, for some of you guys, this could be somebody blessing you in some way, like gifting you a piece of equipment that you need to move forward or gifting you time or their energy, maybe gifting you money. Um, so some, someone is gifting you or it's coming in perhaps an unexpected way. Some of you guys know immediately exactly what this harvest is. You know what you've been working for and it's like ready to come in. Um, for some of you guys, it could be something unexpected. It might not be related to finances, just abundance in general. Um, and this says, accept the help from the person with grace and put the resources to good use. So basically, uh, there's abundance coming in. There's uh, a reward there's a harvest um, and you're you know how you're supposed to use it make sure you bless yourself and you bless others with it so I hope that this all resonates with you guys let me know what you guys think about the new deck I'm just really excited to share it with you and I feel like this is a gift to me but it's also like a gift to all of you guys in the rainbow family and it's just ah oh, I love it it's so perfect I'm gonna be gushing about it I'm already started using these cards in personal readings and I'm like freaking out every time I'm pulling a card from this deck. I just love it. So hope you guys enjoy it too. And I'll see you later. Peace out.